Welcome back everyone, Jake here and this is Ray Vinyl Reminiscence, the channel where I share my passion for hardcore from around 91 to 95, celebrating some amazing music from a great era, digging down and opening doors on some of those memories from our youth that may have been locked away for the longest time, that's a beautiful thing. Now imagine this with me if you will, you're at a club, it's about one in the morning and the next DJ is about to step up for their set. And to mark the change of DJs, they hit the off switch on the left deck. It's that moment of anticipation, the MC announces the next DJ's name and that first tune breaks out. But what tune to pick? And that's the theme for this episode, as we take a tasty little exploration through tunes that are great to start a set with. So here we are again, the coming together of this lovely community for another episode. Time of recording, it's Tuesday morning, I've got a very rare day off which is nice. So the theme slightly different for this video again. The theme to be honest is just the framework, uh, the, the excuse to pull out and play a pretty varied, quite eclectic selection of quality tracks. Tracks that are so quality, I'll share with you, I was on the way to work yesterday on the M40 listening to some of these at uh, very high volume and totally missed my junction. I'm, driving, I'm, oh, I'm sure you've all done that, like it's easy to do, isn't it? What you might not have done is go up to the next junction, turn around, come back, and then be so into the music that you miss the junction again going the other way, which is a bundle of laughs in rush hour traffic, isn't it? But that's how good these tunes are. So as I suggested in the introduction, for this video I want to focus on that moment where the DJ steps up to start their set. Anyone who's ever played out live will know what I'm saying here, but that moment when you get up and you first look across the crowd and you lay your first record down, maybe the MC introduces your name or something. It's pretty cool, isn't it, to be honest. But for me, it was always really important what tune I selected for that first opening track. I always wanted it to kind of clearly differentiate the change from the last DJ to the next DJ to sort of set the tone and the feeling, maybe shift the emotions really sort of establish your vibe and start your story. Now there's loads and loads of tunes that will work really well for this. As always, I share from my perspective through my own record collection. And those of you who have watched previous episodes will remember that from time to time I've kind of mentioned, oh this tune's really good to start a set with. So initially you're going to revisit some of those tunes that I've already mentioned. And then we're going to look at some others in more depth. There's a couple of little short mix demonstrations that I want to throw in that are relevant to the conversation. And then as always, at the end, we've got our play out tune and I've got an absolute cracker for you at the end. So let's get to it. In this episode, we're going to explore a total of 18 tracks on 18 separate releases covering the period from 1991 to 1994. Right, to kick off, it's four tracks that I want to look at that I mentioned in previous videos. And the first was in the reinforced episode, and it's Nuki Shining in the Darkness. Lots of you will know this, many of you will love this, but this is a great one to start a set with because it's an instant mood lifter. Massive big smile straight away, right out of the gate. <laughs> We only have one life to live. Step up, Red Dog.
love it when the drums come in on that tune. Next up from the formation episode, I mentioned Ratty and the Bells of Dorm. What a tune to kick off with. This just drops everything right down. You've got a kind of like a relentless building up of anticipation and then bang, the drums kick in and it sets off to a start. Powerful track that. Next, from the Basements episode, I mean, loads of amazing tunes on that, weren't there? But Jack and Phil's We Are Unity, I mentioned, is lovely to start a set off with. It's a great example, I mentioned loads of times in that video, of how basement tracks just kind of layered up, layered up, gradually picked up pace and intensity. So, this is a really nice way to start off, I think. It starts off beautiful and mellow and ambient. And then just gradually it feeds it in and feeds it in. It's like doing a decent warm up before kicking off for a massive exercise. Okay, the last of the tracks that I'm going to revisit from previous episodes was from the Moving Shadows video, and it was Cloud9, You Got Me Burning. Ugh. So this, right from the outset, the big alert sirens come in, and then that drum punches in. This is like, there's, there's little time to get used to this. It's like, this DJ means business. Absolutely amazing. Right, so we've revisited some old friends from old episodes. Time to look at some other stuff now. And the first selection for this episode is Floor Filler Part 2. This is on Sound Entity Records. And the tune I want to play, I completely forgot this even existed actually. And I did use this in a set going way, way back. Uh, the tune is Forgotten. And this is a really interesting one to start a set off with because it's super mellow to start off with really really dreamy and the pace that it picks up with is very very gradual I, this to me it sort of feels like the, the musical equivalent of like you know when you go wine tasting anyone who has you clean your palate with some water in between tasting different wines this is like kind of like a, a reset for the dance floor before the next journey begins <laughs>
So just as the tune starts to pick up a little bit, it backs off again, and it's great for building anticipation into this really, really lovely section, which is very, very floaty, and then the build-up starts again towards the back end of it. I am happy. Then this is when it starts to feel like a story to me. We have this drop down in this like smoky atmospheric part here and it gradually starts to build up again. we launch forwards and this is where I'll be queuing up the first mix to take us into the next tune. I say I totally forgot that track existed. It brought back loads of memories listening to that. Very, very unique. Right, next up, and this is a track that um, I remember very, very well Colin Dale starting a set at Stearns with. We had a tape that we played hundreds and hundreds of times. This is The Holy Ghost and the track is Psycho Misses. Fantastic tune to kick off with. Like I say, loads of memories linked with this mixtape and kind of as soon as you put it in, well after rewinding it for about half an hour like you used to do with cassettes, uh, you press play and bang, it was straight off and the MC just announcing Colin Dale coming on. So you know, loads and loads of atmosphere and memories for me. It's got everything, this. It starts off with mystique, it's really attention grabbing, and then it launches into power really fast. How to transform a club into chaos instantly. Now this next section is beautiful man, the sound of it. It's like you can imagine being like a deer in the headlights with the lasers and it's all consuming sound around you. And quite aptly to the name, the Holy Ghost, there's like these voices that are like ghosts screaming in your ears. Love that tune. Took me years to find out what that was. I haven't had it on a mixtape for a long time. Right, next up, we have got The Men from Del Bosca. And this is on a 2021 reissue, my copy. Thank you, Warehouse Wax, for that. There's four mixes of this tune on here. Um, the one that I need, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Uh, check out all four mixes. The one I'm going to play is the one that's got kind of the the nice mixture of the darkness and the killer piano sample in it. 
So this one, right from the start, is a big mood shifter. It's a massive attention grabber. It's a bit like, like a cowboy booting the door in on the old saloon and everyone's like... You are now about to witness the strength. You are now about to witness the strength. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. You are now about to witness the strength. You are now about to witness the strength. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. <laughs> tasty that when it kicks in isn't it then we have this section which i like because it totally sideswipes you it's like someone's got you and just like span you around a little bit and then before we think about mixing this tune out we've got this nasty little piano sample and it sounds like it's being played at the other end of like a dark sinister hall Funny I used the word sinister in my last description for that tune because the next tune is Too Sinister. Um, another track I completely forgot existed. I got the idea from this actually recently from pulling up an old mixtape that I did back in, well it must have been late 93, early 94. And I started that tape off with this. That tape is, it sounds so ropey now. I don't mean, it sounds like it's been through the wash a couple of times with my pants, but not that I have to wash my pants twice. That sounded wrong. But this tune is I Got You, um, Easy Boy Remix. And once again, it's one of them tracks that clearly defines a break between one set and another set, and has a nice build up. This is how it kicks off. After that gradual build up, the song literally pauses, takes a breath, and then it launches off. And it's a lovely tune for your first mix as a DJ because it's got a lovely clean drum on it. So like, you know, I may be a bit nervous or something, but there's loads of options for tunes you can mix straight out of this then. That takes us on to one of my favourite tunes ever. And it is the Extremity EP by Two Extreme, lots of extremes here, and the tune is called Extreme Theme. Uh, this is the original 92 pressing. It's a white label with like pink stamps on. Those of you who know it, it's easily recognisable. Uh, it was also reissued in 2006 by 92 Retro. 92 Retro, good job man. Some amazing reissues done on that label. This tune is just heavenly. It's a perfect mixture, an unlikely mixture of quality hardcore and classical music. 
right from the start this tune is beautiful swoony lovely vocals echoing in it's quality <laughs> Now, if you were anything like me and your only exposure to that tune for a long time was in a set that DJ producer played, I've mentioned it before, at Universe, there might have been a bit of confusion because it seems all weird at the beginning, doesn't it? It wasn't until much later on down the line I realised what he'd done and it's quite creative. He took a tune called Vicious by Johnny Potato Head and he literally just run this for a number of seconds before blending in the extreme theme track. I've stuck both of them on the decks and I'll show you quickly what he did. <laughs> So there you go, that was a mystery solve for me later on down the line, I thought I'd share that with you. As the track progresses, it drops down into this nice mellow section. On the subject of the DJ producer set at Universe, that particular point there that I've just played you in the extreme theme track is exactly where producer chopped out into cooking up your brain. I spoke about it in the reinforced episode. This tune um, is such a good tune to mix with. The beginning of it is really, really choppy, and he mixed this into uh, extreme theme. I always like what he did there because it's a slightly unlikely place to start mixing out, and it really, really works. So I'm not saying I'm doing exactly the same as him, but I've stuck both tracks on the decks again and a little demo of what he does. I 
I say it's not identical to what he was doing, but that's just such a fruity little tune for chopping around. I love it. Right, here's a massive tune. Another one, I didn't know what it was for years. Add it on a mixtape, and it was a big, big rave moment on this mixtape. I think it was a Groove Rider set. This is DSKF and the New Science EP. This is the original pressing from 92. It's like a pink label with some scribbly telephone number penned on it and a little square label with Dr. Scheme, Kick and Froggy, New Science EP on it. Uh, this was repressed in 2022, I think, by Warehouse Wax. Quality one to repress. Uh, totally annihilated the value of this, but, but good move, very good move. This tune, man. For those of you who, who are, I know the set I'm talking about, Groove Rider, again, I think it was at Universe. So I think Groove Rider was playing... Um, too Bad Mice remix, Blame. And the tune just kind of fades down and down and down in volume. And then the MCs are trying to get everyone to be quiet. And then it's just, this tune just rolls. And I think the MC says something like, we've just had silence for however many thousand people. Bang, with this, got to be the most amazing piano sample of all time for a rave track. <laughs> to wake the crowd up. This tune is an absolute rave grenade. This next section just drops down, takes a breather for a little while and then wallops straight back in. <laughs> then the tune hits this section which kind of turns on the tension a little bit. And then as we come out of this, we've got those <laughs> clippy clop Apache drums, thank you very much everyone in the comments. And then also I can hear a little bit of like hoovers and spray cans I think in the background as well. Quality track. Now, for those of you who've never heard of Hoovers and Spray Cans, by the way, which I mentioned just now, that actually was a rave track. I, I know I get a bit creative with my descriptions sometimes, but it wasn't insinuated I could hear like spray cans going on and someone hoovering in the background, although I wouldn't put it past me actually using those kind of descriptions. Okay, next track, and it's another beauty. This is from 1992. This is Mystery Man, and this is Love E, but this is an unreleased version. Um, I have a copy of it here, it's unreleased. I have a copy of it, it was released, again, on 92 Retro. Nice work. The only other place that you can get this 
is on Focus Records and it was a mispress from back in 1992 with uh, right before Remix and it was supposed to have Shady on the other side but instead of Shady this unreleased remix of La V got put on it. Very hard to find that original mispress so my copy on 92 Retro is very treasured. This is a lovely tune, lovely positive vibe, beautiful gentle intro into a set. So this tune just progresses and opens up beautifully, man. This is uh, this, the amount of memories this tune brings back to me. Launches me straight back to being 18, the people I was hanging around with, the motorbike I was riding. It's just amazing what music does, doesn't it? I love this. I love the bobbing along and the vocals. It's beautiful. A little bit later this tune does its job. As a starter track it takes this slightly darker harder turn ready before exiting here to mix into the next tune. Okay, moving swiftly on, next tune, great to start a set with, is Tic Tac Toe, and the tune off of this I want to play is Ephemeral. Wow, what a number. This is a 2018, I believe, uh, limited edition press, limited edition, we love a bit of limited edition, didn't we? Why? Think about what that really means, that makes it more special, doesn't it? What it really means is, I've got one and you ain't. It's funny, isn't it? Um, but, or, or in the marketing world, limited edition means only 20,000 people manage to get one. Uh, this is an incredible tune. I love this. Beautiful atmospheric start. I mean, I haven't played this for ages. This is a total winner. God, how much I love this tune. This next breakdown is like where it hits in with power now. Across a big system, this is awesome. <laughs>
love this bit. This is beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful hardcore breaks I think ever. Drifting through the clouds, turning within. I love this. Just imagine it, can't you, as that pace picks up, just starting to hear another drum beat coming in for the next tune and just adding to it and building in the power. Amazing. Right, next, we're on 1993. This is a tune I would imagine if we, everyone out there had to write a list of tunes they think they could set off with, this would show up quite a bit. I'm not even going to introduce it. This is the nuts. <laughs> of course Apollo 2 Volume 1 and that is Atlantis LTJ Bookham's remix an incredible tune Bookham stuff just had that lovely relentless journeying vibe to it fantastic for starting off a set because the whole thing just starts to open up and plod and build the energy up on the dance floor <laughs> Then we have this last breakdown, returning to that beautiful vibe from the beginning and as we start to exit out of here, queuing up the next track ready to go for the mix. Right, that leads us on to another absolute favourite of mine. Amazing tune to start a set with. It's, everything's there with this one. This is uh, MC Lethal and this is the original, the Rave Digger. Quality. What a build up. And a kind of like a vroom, push everything off a table. Here we are. Start the set like this. Who is Lethal?
I've paused it there quickly because I want to be right with you for this. We've had that lovely build up and then all of a sudden the vocal comes in and it just grabs you by the old clock weights and launches you. We're having it. This tune, the combination of like the stabs, the piano, the, the classy vocals, awesome. So much love for that tune. Some people will argue they prefer different mixes of it, but this is the one for me, without even the slightest hesitation. I adore it. Okay, next. This tune, there's no way this wasn't going to be in this episode. It's epic. Um, what hints could I give you as to what it is before I just launch into it? I'll say this. When I revisited this to, for this episode, I was like, was that 1991? Are you kidding me? This tune was light years ahead of its time. In power, vibe, tempo. Uh, this, I mean, this tune's crazy. Hold your breath. Here it comes. <laughs> That's how you kick a set off, eh? Can you believe that was 1991? That's like, in 1991, that was like a caveman finding an iPhone. Like, do you remember this next bit? out of breath just listening to that in my room in a club that's like being dragged around a field by a horse uh, amazing tune I haven't heard that for ages actually uh, okay next 1993 this is from um, this is DJ Rap's Spiritual Aura uh, this is a repress I think a reassure repress from 2022 on Proper Talent Records I think this is um, Proper Dubs Volume 6 this is a great tune to kick off with it's got all of the ambience, the gradual pickup of tension and energy, and then it kicks off of a light, let's go.
Again, lovely, lovely steady drum section on that. A little bit like I say with the Two Sinister track. For an opening track, if your first mix, it's lovely and clean. Loads of things will mix into that beautifully. So very definite change in energy from the last tune here. This is a track that I clearly remember starting a live set with. This is from 1994 and it is Higher Level Visions of Light. Great tune to kick off with. Absolutely cuts through, makes a big statement. It has everything really. It has the build up of tension, slight level of anxiety if it when's it coming in, but when it kicks in, it's just a massive bomb of positive energy. <laughs> Tune soon it's this super high power piano section and then when the drum kicks in it's it's so cut in this drum and it has that kind of again you probably come with some kind of terminology but at the end of each bar it's got this it's the kind of like flutter on the cymbal it's really really effective <laughs> That is an absolute ass kicker for a, for a happy hardcore track there. So that brings us pretty much to the end of our journey through tracks that are just awesome to start a set with. It was nice for this episode to better just pick random tunes from different producers, different labels and really appreciate them as great tunes to kick off with and great tunes as standalone numbers. We have of course one more tune as always as our play out track and this is a little bit of a gem from my collection, it's, it's a beauty, um, lots of you here will have heard this before and for some of you maybe not and that's, that's beautiful if that's the case if this is the first time you've heard it. This is quality, it has everything you could want for a track to fit in with this episode. Starting your set off, it builds up, it has the tension building, it has all of the atmosphere in the world, it has class in abundance. It has a mixture of different kinds of breaks and different directions. It takes you on a story. There's one breakdown in it which is literally mind piercing. It's a great tune to mix out of. It's just quality all round. That tune is Chaos and Julia Set and it's on the Atmosphere EP and it is Atmosphere but it's the sub bass field mix. I hope you're going to love listening to this as much as I did cranking it up nice and loud. Sign off I just want to thank you for all of the lovely positivity that's been in the comments. A wonderful feel of like community and friendship, people helping each other out. Some beautiful comments from people saying that they've been inspired to dust their old record collections off, maybe even get their decks out again, heard tracks they haven't heard for a long time, it's been bringing up memories that they haven't uncovered for ages. All of these things are beautiful and they're precious. And thank you for being on these journeys with me. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.